I'm David Grinspoon, and we're the house band of the universe. And we got one more little number for you here. We're going to head back out into the outer solar system here because there's a really fascinating place there that, that we just need to explore a little bit further. It's a moon called Titan, the second largest moon in the solar system, a moon of Saturn. And it's the only moon with a thick atmosphere and a strangely Earth-like atmosphere. It's mostly nitrogen, like Earth's atmosphere. And Titan, when it first appears, we'll see it as an orange, hazy ball because it's surrounded by a smog, a smoggy haze made of organic molecules, the same stuff that we're made out of and that all life is made out of. So there's, there's some stuff going on on Titan with, with, with organic molecules that, that uh, those of us in astrobiology, the study of life in the universe, are are uh, just, just itching to go back and explore further. So, so we're going to do that now. We're going to head out. First, we're going we're gonna to start off by following the path of the Cassini spacecraft as it entered into orbit around Saturn. We're going to cruise around Saturn a little bit, check out its beautiful rings and moon system. We'll swing close by the icy moon Enceladus with its strange uh, ice volcanoes. And then we'll end up at Titan and we'll orbit around Titan, and then we'll kind of spend some time at Titan and uh, show you a few of the wonders uh, that, that we find there. So let us begin with Titan Haze.
here we are at Titan. And as you can see, it's a big orange fuzzy ball. Surrounded by a haze of organic smog. And we really want to know what's going on beneath that haze. Problem is we can't see through it. Or we couldn't until we got there with a the Cassini spacecraft. With Cassini, we've been able to peer with infrared eyes and map the surface of Titan in the infrared. And here's what it looks like. You see there are dark areas of organic sediments, bright areas that are mostly icy. And one thing you don't see is a lot of impact craters. Compared to, for instance, uh, think of the moon or Mercury or Mars, full of craters because they're dead ancient surfaces. But on a place like Titan or the Earth that's alive or there's activity going on, you don't see a lot of craters because they've been paved over and covered up. So we know there's things going on on Titan. We're trying to figure out what. So we look at these maps and we also have radar images. Cassini as a radar imager, we're able to take very close-up images of certain areas of the surface. And here's what we see with the radar. We see some very familiar forms, like a few impact craters, not many, but a few. And then these long, thin, dark stripes. These are dunes, just like you see in the Sahara Desert. Dune, Wind-blown dunes, but they're not made out of sand. They're made out of organics, organic dunes. Blown by the nitrogen and methane winds of Titan. Well, that methane is reacting with sunlight to create organic molecules that rain down on the surface. And the methane also pools into lakes. Titan turns out to be the only other place other than Earth in the solar system with bodies of open liquid on the surface. Only it's not liquid water, it's, it's very cold on Titan, way too cold for liquid water. So we have lakes of liquid methane, natural gas, liquefied natural gas. And when we dropped a probe, into the surface of Titan from Cassini. We dropped a probe down to the surface and we were amazed to see not just lakes, but rivers. Familiar looking rivers. Again, not carved by water, but carved by flowing methane. So on Titan, where it's very, very cold, it turns out we have methane doing all the things that water is doing on Earth. Pulling into lakes, evaporating into clouds, raining down and carving rivers on the surface. We have methane playing the role of water on Earth. And we have ice playing the role of rock on Earth. So in addition to these methane rivers carved into the surface, we have landscapes made of ice. You see ice volcanoes and ice mountains. And even cobbles of ice on the surface. You see these rounded cobbles. They're not river rocks. They look like river rocks, but they're cobbles of frozen ice that have been rounded by flash floods of methane on the surface. So it's this strange combination of the familiar and the exotic, familiar forms created with exotic materials. Tell us a lot of interesting things about nature. Tells us that nature likes to repeat the same forms in very different environments using the materials at hand. And what we really want to know with astrobiology is whether life is one of those processes that nature likes to repeat in different places using the materials at hand. So we keep exploring Titan, trying to understand what's happening with the organic evolution. Is it simulating the early steps of the origin of life on Earth? How far has organic evolution proceeded on Titan? In order to understand this, we're hoping after Cassini to send future missions. And we have dreams of sending future spaceships, maybe even aircraft or balloons that can float around in those nitrogen winds, observing those lakes close up, seeing what's, seeing what's happening in those lakes and trying to understand how organics can evolve elsewhere in the universe. So, so stay tuned because there's a lot more to learn from Titan as we continue to explore this awesome universe of ours.
All right, thanks a lot, folks. This has been Life Out There, and we will see you all out in the lobby. And let's party and have a drink. Thanks so much for coming. Hope you had a good time. Good night. <laughs>